So you know mesh count and micron rating both have something to do with the openings in the mesh, but how are they different? Don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need. So stick around. Hi, I'm Eric Kimes. I'm the sales manager of Industrial Woven Wire here at WS Tyler. There's a lot of parameters that go into perfecting the openings in the mesh. Because of this, there's several terms that you need in order to define the profile of the openings. But let's say you're inquiring about wire mesh and you're asked about the mesh count. What happens if you only have the micron rating or vice versa. You may become worried about whether you're selecting the correct specification. So what is the difference between mesh count and micron rating? WS Tyler has been a trusted wire mesh supplier since 1872 and is dedicated to sharing the experience we have within the four walls so you can continue to innovate the way you do things. So in this video, we'll go over the definition of mesh count, the impact of mesh count, the definition of micron rating, the impact of micron rating, and how mesh count and micron compare. Mesh count is the openings of a square mesh weave that can fit inside one linear inch. So as an example, let's say you have a piece of wire mesh that is specified as seven mesh. This means that if you looked at the mesh, you would be able to count seven openings in both the horizontal and vertical directions. Since mesh count indicates the amount of openings of a given weave, it's responsible for controlling the flow rate allowed by the mesh. That said, fine tuning your mesh count is absolutely necessary. If you fail to implement the right mesh count, it can result in pressure buildup in your system, which can cause increased stress and premature wear and tear on the mesh. So using mesh count that does accommodate your process will ensure a perfect balance of screen capacity and flow rate. This ultimately will promote an energy and cost effective process. Micron rating is the wire mesh openings with the opening size smaller than one millimeter. It's defined as a precise distance between the wires of any opening. The micron rating tells you exactly how much opening space is and is not taken up by the diameter of the wires. Since micron rating tells you the opening size of the mesh, this means you can know exactly what can and cannot pass through the mesh. Using a micron rating too large increases the risk of unwanted particles passing through the mesh. Using a micron rating too small increases the risk of blinding, which negatively impacts the flow rate and prevents the materials from passing through. So in most cases, the mesh openings are measured in inches or millimeters. When the openings are measured in inches or millimeters, the mesh openings profile will typically be defined as a mesh count. Once the opening measurements become smaller than one millimeter, the measurement is converted into microns. Now, as micron rating is typically used for fine mesh opening sizes, it's almost always used for wire mesh filter cloth. But while there is mesh count for the filter cloth, there's far too many openings to practically count them. So when you get to brass tacks, mesh count is the openings of coarser, typically square mesh weaves, and micron ratings is the openings of finer, typically filter cloth weaves. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh, or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Eric Himes and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.